and welcome back to more sewing with Michelle. Today is all about Emma's collage pillows. This amazing machine embroidery software from Kimberbell. I love Kimberbell and I'm going to enjoy showing you the things that I made today and all of the techniques and how to put this together. It's great software. I know you're going to love it. Let's get going on today's More Sewing with Michelle. So, Emma's Collage Pillows. Now, if you're like me, I love to make embroidered and quilted gifts for others. It's one of the things that keeps me constantly sewing is I think I see a pattern or I see a design and I'm like, you know who would love this? You know, my mom, my aunt, you know, whoever it is. It could be your sister. It could be someone that's having a baby. It doesn't matter what it is, but we are givers and we love to make things to give to other people. Um, and, you know, it's just... It's just what we are as far as as humans and as crafters. I think that it goes hand in hand. But we also, especially I, I'm guilty of this. I love to make accents for my own home. And if you were to come into my home today, you would see quilts and pillows and machine embroidery. Pretty much so. I want to say there may be only not in one room. And that's like my husband's man den, so to speak. But other than that, I've got them scattered around the whole house. And I'm sure you're the same way, but I know that I have friends that often will overlook themselves um, because they're so busy making for other people. And I don't want you to forget yourself. Um, some of the things that we are inspired by are also what we like. And that is absolutely the case with Emma's collage quilts. I immediately saw it. And I went, oh my gosh, my mom would absolutely flip to have something made with this design. And then I thought, oh, but so would I. So I made several things. I've got samples to show you. And um, the way that the software is, it's machine embroidery. So I'm not going to teach you how to machine embroidery, but it's got different techniques. It's got a collage um, applique technique that I'm going to go in and I'm going to show you um, basically how to do it. And I've got a short little video too. But the great thing about this software here today, it has three designs, four sizes. So that's 12 possibilities for you to utilize this software for gifts or embellishing stuff for your own home. And in machine embroidery, is easy, fun, and relaxing. So if you haven't tried it, you're going to want to check it out um, and pick up this software and get a machine and get stitching. Um, so just a little bit of talking. So I've got the three samples in back of me, the three designs. We have the florals, and then we have the home. Oh, my favorite. And then what drew me to this whole software from the very start was the nest with the birds. Um, so that's a little bit of chat. Let's get going and I'm going to show you more of the details. So let's talk about Emma's collage pillows, what it takes to make them. And um, we have three different items that we have today's on more sewing with Michelle landing page. We have the actual software, Emma's collage pillows. We also have um, the pillow inserts by Basel, um, 18 by 18 inch size. And you can see on this one here, I've got that in there, so it's perfect. And then we also have Kimber Kimberbell's quilted pillow um, blanks. So that's what this one is here. Isn't it amazing? So it comes already with this quilted design. Now keep in mind, we have different colors and each of the colors has a different quilted design already on the fabrics. Oh my gosh, it just makes, I love Kimberbell and I love that they make these blanks. Now, what a blank is, 
and um, I'm going to show a picture real quick right now. What a blank is, it's an item that's pre-created. It's got the sides already um, stitched with a um, serger seam on the outside, so you don't have to worry about things unraveling later. And they come open. So look at this picture. Isn't that cool? So in there, you can then do your embroidery super, super easy because it's not already in a pillow shape and um, put it on your hoop and then you can stitch it all out. And when you're done, all you're going to do is sew up the three remaining sides. Now look at the details to these Kimberbell quilted pillow blanks. Um, they are super soft. They're gorgeous. Um, it's like a linen feel to the fabrics on the outside. But the zipper pull, it's a hidden zipper pull. Um, and you can see in the picture just the quality that they have into them. I can't say anything bad about them. Um, I love that they're quilted, so it gives it that soft feel. So you use the quilted pillow blanks from Kimberbell. Also use the Basel pillow insert along with Emma's pillow um, embroidery software from Kimberbell and you can create this and it's just amazing. I love that it's nice and poofy and um, once again it all starts with the design that sparks that creativity. But those are the three things that we have today and you can see, let me hold this up real quick. So this is my pillow that I created. And you can see, isn't that cool? Look at the detail of the stitching. And with the um, collage applique, um, I'm going to show you in a little bit how to go about prepping your fabric for that. Now, let me talk real quick. Um, some people might get a little bit intimidated by the collage part of the applique. You don't have to do it. If you don't like the fact that it has all those little bits and pieces, just use regular fabric. You're still going to get the wowzer factor from the actual design from Kimberbell. And it's okay. Um, you know, there's multiple ways of doing things. And I am such a renegade when it comes to sewing. I often will look at something and go, yeah, that's amazing. But I'm going to do it this way and switch things up. So don't feel bad that you're not um, actually following the exact things. You know, different strokes for different folks. Um, it's all about falling in love and creating in my book. So let me show you real quick. This one is the floral design that we have. And you can see, let me get it a little bit. There we go. I simply um, added, when I was done stitching, I added the word bloom. And then I added um, some purple fabric along the bottom here. And I added some decorative stitching, a special blanket stitch. And on this one, it's a little bit smaller because I used a smaller thing. I just made my own little pillow insert here. So, but look at the details of those flowers. So it's all collage, lots of little pieces. And it was so much fun. I tell you, doing collage applique to me is as relaxing as doing a puzzle. You get those little pieces, you kind of plan them out, and then you put them together. And of course, the, the beauty is in the end result. And then I will say this one's my favorite, hands down. Um, I love this one. It says home, and um, I did multiple colors. There's no big shock here, but I used my scraps. And then um, on the branch with all the leaves, I used different colors. And then look, I added my name. Let me get it lined up correctly. Our family name, The Ranks with Free Motion. So once again, I'm a renegade. I see something, I love the beauty in it. And then I'm like, oh, I want to add just a few more things to it. So this is with just regular fabric. Whereas if you look at the design, I tell you, it really pops with these Kimberbell quilted pillow um, blanks. They just really tie 100% in, so I love them. So, here's what you're gonna wanna do. <laughs> you're gonna wanna go to mores-sew.com and you're gonna pick up the Kimberbell 
Emma's Collage Pillows software for your embroidery machine. And just so you know, the sizes, you need to make sure that your embroidery machine has a hoop size at least 5 by 7, 6 by 10, 8 by 12, or 9 by 14. Those are the sizes of the actual embroidery. So those are the size hoops that you need to make sure that you have. And we also have, like I said, the Kimberbell pillow blanks, and we have multiple colors, so check those out. And keep in mind, on each of them, there's um, a different pattern depending upon the color. And then we also have the Basel, whoops, the Basel pillow inserts. So three items that we have to complete this item on today's More Sewing with Michelle. Once again, go to mores-sew.com or click on the link in the description where you can get your items to make this amazing project today. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I've got a treat for you. I've got this video from Kimberbell showing you how they actually put together these amazing Emma's Collage um, patterns for embroidery. And so let me clip to that real quick. Enjoy. So let me talk a little bit about some of the supporting items that you may want to have to make your Emma's collage embroidery go a little bit smoother. Got some of my favorites, so hopefully you already have picked them up. The first thing is the Quilter Select Glue Stick. Now, I'm, let me talk a little bit away about the process. You see on the video, um, how they put it together. What they don't say on the video in the instructions, it says to use double-sided adhesive like a um, seam -a seam to attach to your scrap fabric so that you put them down and then you iron them down. I um, found that to be a little bit more tedious. So if you wanted, you can use the glue stick, lay out your items, add a little bit of glue on the back and then you can do your stitching and just being careful to watch. Now, it worked perfectly for me, but either way, this is an option for you um, for the actual process of the collage applique. The next thing is obviously, once again, this is the tool turner, the professional tool turner. Use this all the time, I keep telling you, but this is perfect for popping out those corners of the pillows. And then you're gonna wanna have, since it's applique, you're going to want to have some embroidery scissors. I suggest having one with the bill flat and you're going to want to have a curve so that you can get real close to cutting those edges. Now, let me just say I haven't even spoke to you about that they have a rough edge design. Now, rough edge applique in the embroidery machine means that it doesn't have a satin stitch to secure the edges of your fabric. And I love that look. <laughs> Um, I know that it seems like I like all the kind of rough, rustic type things, and I do. So I like my finished embroidery, but I also love rough edge. So you can leave a little extra around the edges if you want it to get that kind of frilly look, or you can cut real close. But either way, you're going to want to have some embroidery scissors that have a curve. I suggest the bill so that you don't cut areas that you don't want to. So you're going to want that. You're also going to need your USB, and I brought this in only because how many of you out there with a mach machine embroidery go to load something onto your machine and you don't know which USB has the correct amount of space or how you transfer it? 
So I, I suggest that you double check before you do anything, make sure that your USB has space. Now this one is my Kimberbell one and I tend to keep all of my Kimberbell on there. So that way, when I go to do a project and I've already have made these pillows and I'm like, oh, I gotta make one for, you know, Aunt Flo, I can grab this and I already have it downloaded and I don't have to worry about transferring it. It just makes it easier. So another little tip, I like to have ribbons on mine so that I know what is what. So make sure that you have a USB ready to go. The other thing that you're gonna wanna do um, is you're gonna wanna print out the instructions. First thing, this has a lot of little technical things and I don't, you know, I know it's one of those things where I've told you before, I don't always read instructions. When it comes to embroidery, I definitely read through them. Now I may not use them the whole time, but I have them ready to go because sometimes if you miss one step, it really changes and alters the final product. So you wanna make sure that you understand your instructions before you get going. And then um, you're gonna want your fabrics and stuff. So in here, I'm gonna show you first off, let's talk about that Kimberbell um, items. Now I have, right now I'm gonna show pictures of the three different items that we have, the three designs. We have the bird's nest, we have also the florals, and then we have home. So here's all three of them. And you can see, oh my gosh, what a striking difference. And that's another thing with, you know, making something at home. You can make it exactly the same, but I love having options. Using your own fabrics, you can really take something and make it completely look different based on the fabrics, the um, textiles you use, and also contrast. So, you know, instead of maybe having a dark background, have a light background. It's completely up to you. And that's one of the things that I love about making something at home, handmade, is it your creation. Yes, it's Kimberbell's design files, but once you start working with those fabrics, it completely becomes yours. And then the other thing that I wanna talk about is also um, how to do it. Now we've talked a little bit about that this is um, collage applique. And what that means is a bunch of little pieces. I'm not gonna go over all the instructions to do this um, type of technique, but what I do wanna show you is, I have some of my leftover pieces. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure that your pieces have curved elements, and that's important for several reasons. So let me pull some of them out here, and this is the way I prepped them. So I've got just a scrap piece of fabric, but you can see I've cut around just randomly um, on them so that they have curved elements. And let me hold up a couple more here. And since I use my scraps, this one actually is flannel. And so you can see they have those curved elements. And what that's going to do is help you to lay on top of each other so it looks more like a collage. If there were just straight edges, not only would it be um, more problematic that things may catch and cause problems, um, but it just wouldn't look right. It's much better and it's more, you know, it's like camouflage. You don't see uh, military <laughs> um, uniforms with straight lines. They generally have that camouflage type thing. It's the same process for doing this collage. So you want your pieces to overlap and have curved elements. So. You can, if you're gonna do it the way that Kimberbell suggests, you're going to add the steam seam to the backside and then go ahead and secure them all down and then I cut those pieces out and it just makes it easier. Now, if you wanted to use the glue stick, you can just cut your fabric and then you're just gonna add a little dab of glue to keep it in place while the machine does the embroidery. Keep in mind though, you wanna watch those edges um, you can use your professional tool turner just to make sure everything's flat while the machine does the stitching. It's completely up to you. Now let me show you real quick um, a video of mine actually stitching out. And that 
one is the nest one. So here's some of the actual stitching for my home one. And I tell you, it was so much fun to lay down all those different colors and kind of plan them out and stitch out the home one. So here's some footage of my machine stitching that too. So wasn't that fun? Um, like I said, it's just so relaxing. I think you're going to have a blast creating these. And if you don't like, once again, if you don't like that collage look, no worries. Just use a regular applique and you will just forego all the individual pieces and just put one solid piece of fabric down. There's no right or wrong way. It's whatever way you prefer. So what do you think? about Emma's collage pillows. I know um, this is gonna be a treasure that I have for years to come. I love this pillow and I love the design. I love home. So you're gonna wanna pick up once again, Emma's collage pillow by Kimberbell and get this software and get a stitch in. I hope you have a fabulous week. I hope you've enjoyed this week's More Sewing with Michelle. I look forward to seeing you next week. And until then, everyone have a fabulous time sewing. Bye-bye.